perhaps going down in the no big surprise file, but for me more in the who cares file, Hideo Itami asked for and was granted his release this week by the WWE. To which he tweeted out to everyone, thank you, and you had other people tweeting thank you to him. And all I can say is Hideo Itami, Kenta, whatever the hell you want to call yourself, thanks for nothing. Because it's exactly what the hell you were in NXT, WWE, a big freaking nothing. Like, I remember when this guy was signed. They had the big press conference. Hideo Itami is going to be a big freaking deal. He's an international star. He's going to come to WWE and he's going to light the world on fire. And none of that crap ever happened. Just because a guy is successful one place in no way, shape, or form automatically equates to him being successful elsewhere. And sure, again, it's going to be easy to blame WWE and the powers that be for his failure. It's going to be easy to blame some injuries for him, never really being able to truly get momentum. But the fact of the matter is, to me, in my opinion, Kenta got exposed. Hideo Itami was lame as shit. Personality non-existent. Like, what the hell was so special about this guy to begin with? Like, if you showed me clips of him in NXT and told me this guy was supposed to be something special, some big, huge, freaking star, I would call you absolutely insane. And again, this is where you have to be really careful listening to these hardcore fans that have dummied down their expectations and standards and demands for professional wrestling so much over the years when it comes to guys like this. Maybe he was successful elsewhere in Japan, and maybe they understood how to accentuate his positives and hide his shortcomings Hide is negatives, and WWE just didn't get to have the ability to do that. That is very true. It's very possible. Or it just wasn't that good. Like, he was a massive bust. Like, he was mystical level bust. The original Sin Cara level bust to me, to a certain degree. Now, granted, the original Sin Cara was really, really pushed initially. Like, presented to be a massive deal, and he was just a walking botch factory. But at least with the original Sin Cara, you know, Terry the Patella at Survivor Series 2011 and so forth, at least there was some redeeming, entertaining quality there from a train wreck standpoint. Hideo Itami, for me, brought nothing. Nothing. Oh my God, he could do this move. Oh my God, he could do that move. Literally thousands of guys in fucking professional wrestling today can do moves. How do you do them? When do you do them? What do you do with them? How do you set them up? Why do you do them? Where do you do them? What else can you bring to the table? Can you be a personality? Can you be a character? Can you be a real performer? And to me, the resounding answer I got from Hideo Itami and all of this garbage was he absolutely was none of those other things. He was just another dude, another jabroni that could do a few moves and everybody went giggly tits for it because in today's professional wrestling world, if you can do a couple of flips, a couple of kicks, and factor in a few high spots somewhere during your match, you're freaking awesome! This is why you can't let the nerds run professional wrestling because they'll do what they've been doing which is running mainstream big-time professional wrestling into the freaking ground. So the next time this company signs one of these big international stars and alleges them to be the next big thing, and I hear all of you people talking about he's going to be the next big thing, I'm going to remind you of the Mysticos. I'm going to remind you of the Hideo Tommies and remind you most of all to temper your expectations. Just because they worked one place doesn't mean they're going to work another. And sometimes when the scenery changes, you find out that they're not the grass. They're the manure. And not the manure that grows anything, just the manure that smells like shit. That's what Hideo Tommy's whole NXT WWE was to me, was shit. Forget about it. A footnote, insignificant. And how appropriate, so many of you spent so much time over the years hyping him up, like he was some type of big thing, 
just for him to be one big glass of wasabi nothing. That's what he was. Nothing. Damn if I sit there and listen to some of you clowns again try and tell me how this guy or that guy is going to be the next big thing or the next big deal. Because the track record isn't that good. Hideo Tommy, thanks. Thanks for nothing but being a big freaking waste of time.